Remembering Noah, the one-year-old baby who died in a house fire in Lebanon. Friends, family, and neighbors gathered outside today for an emotional balloon release. And CBS 21's Maxine Rose is live there now. Maxine? Yeah, well, you can see behind me here, there's a group of people still out here outside of the home here on Brandywine Street that caught fire. You can see what's left from the fire there just over an hour after the balloons were released and this community staying real close. I know he knows it. I know he does. I know my husband is at the gates waiting for him. And that is baby Noah's grandmother who was inside the home with Noah and his three siblings during last Friday's fire. She has been let out from the hospital only for the time being after suffering severe burns. And she says she remembers calling for help from neighbors next door who then broke windows to try and get them out from that second floor. I couldn't get to Noah. I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't take, like I said, I couldn't take the smoke. I couldn't take the heat no more than I had already did to get the three out. Now the three remaining children are expected to be okay, although they were not here today as they are in foster care until their dad settles into a new home. Now there is a GoFundMe in place to help cover the cost of the funeral and also of course for the loss of their home. It has now surpassed $16,000. And you can look for those details to that GoFundMe on our website at CBS21.com as well. Reporting in Lebanon, Maxine Rose, CBS 21 News.